students today we have to see about state of equilibrium there are two types one is chemical equilibrium another one is physical equilibrium in a reversible reaction we know the chemical equilibrium in an irreversible reaction we know the physical equilibrium there also equilibrium but it will be a physical equilibrium okay just we go to chemical equilibrium it will be written as like this symbol that is equilibrium constant that is this symbol will be used that is uh, reversible reaction symbol we written no the same symbol will be written for the uh, this reactions also equilibrium you know very well you playing these are like that uh, that are equilibrium okay next is state of equilibrium in a reverse reaction both forward and the backward reactions takes place simultaneously that is known as equilibrium suppose you take a uh, in our home you know very well calcium carbonate that is uh, uh, limestone sunambu okay that one you take uh, that is caco3 on decomposition to give cao plus co2 it, this reaction both forward and backward reactions also takes place when the rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the rate of backward reaction then no more product will be formed this stage of reaction is called equilibrium state after this stage no net change in the reaction can occur and hence in the amount of the reactants and the product since this equilibrium is attained in an chemical reaction it is called chemical equilibrium uh, in chemical equilibrium it is a state of reversible reaction in a reversible reaction only it will be occur in which no change in the amount of the reactants and the product takes place at equilibrium that is rate of forward reaction is equal to backward reaction initially the rate of the forward and the backward reaction is greater than rate of backward reaction however during this occurs of the reaction the concentration of the reactant decreases and the concentration of the product increases at the initial stage since the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration so uh, the concentration is directly proportional to concentration the rate of the chemical reaction will be directly proportional to the concentration the rate of the forward reaction decreases with time whereas the rate of the backward reaction increases at a certain stage both the rate becomes equal that is forward and the backward reaction rate will be no change then the concentration also no change both the reactor and the products with the time is equal this state is called equilibrium state Uh, suppose you take i say calcium carbonate that is into limestone and carbon dioxide it is a reversible reaction the speed of the reaction can be determined by how quickly the reactant disappears if the reaction is carried out in a closed vessel it reaches a chemical equilibrium at this stage okay that is uh, the rate of decomposition of caco3 is equal to the rate of uh, combination of cao and co2 gas okay next we go to physical equilibrium not only chemical change physical change also may attain physical change you know very well the change of state solid liquid and gas also may attain equilibrium when water kept in a closed vessel evaporates it forms a water vapor no water vapor escapes out of the container as the as the process takes place suppose it will be closed means uh, uh, the vapor again it will be cooled it return back as water so it built up the vapor pressure into the container at one time the va water vapor condenses back into a liquid water and when the rate of this condensation becomes equal to the vapor of vaporization the process attains equilibrium so at this stage the volume of the liquid and the gaseous phase remains constant the two states also remains constant this is called a physical change the equilibrium attained is called physical equilibrium the physical equilibrium is a state of physical change which the volume of all the phases remains unchanged that is h2o gives h2o gas whenever it evaporates it gives gas whenever it condenses it gives Uh, water liquid okay you see the 
stage the physical stage or chemical state um, there is an equilibrium see here rate of the reaction at a time taken first it will be reverse reaction that is forward reaction decreases and backward reaction backward reaction not till in this reaction only forward reaction forward reaction is decreases after some time it will be increases then it will be going in a equilibrium that only i giving forward reaction and the back of the forward rate reverse rate and the reactants product how it will be changes first the reactant does not change uh, the products does not formed after some time the product increases and the reactant decreases with a time taken uh, equilibrium no change in the amount see here that blue line this blue line and this red line shows the straight line there is a no change in the amount of reactant and the product those two are equal so it is going in a parallel line okay next you go to the equilibrium constant kc is written as suppose the reaction will be like this means you have to write the equilibrium constant kc is equal to uh, that concentration of c into concentration of d divided by concentration of a into concentration of b these are powers that is in front of a there will be one constant that is known as uh, square of that one okay next uh, one example i given here i am sure to glad they evaporate it will be evaporate mean i am then i am getting down to here that is water i given one example we are written back that is physical equilibrium okay next you go to how the initial five intermediate and equilibrium state will be attained suppose you take h2o initially there is little amount of water molecule will be escapes in intermediate state there is more water molecule will be escapes after that you see here all of the water molecules uh, suppose 80 percentage of the water molecules escapes as a water vapor uh, after that it will be contents equal to see here the arrow mark will be given uh, to also e weight in a equilibrium state at last now both forward and the backward reactions are equal first only forward reaction next little backward reaction after the two also equal okay next what are the characteristics of equilibrium in a chemical equilibrium the rate of the forward and the backward reactions are equal the observable properties you observe in that property such as pressure concentration color density viscosity of a system remains unchanged with time the chemical equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium both the forward and the backward reaction continue to occur even though it appears static externally in physical equilibrium the volume of all phases remains constant a volume of all phases that phases is uh, that is liquid state and the gas state and the solid state will be equilibrium okay next you see the narrator drinks uh, the bottle contain dissolved carbon dioxide in a pop bottle you know very well that soda bottle the neck will be a little bended when the bottle is sealed the dissolved carbon dioxide and the gas co2 are in a equilibrium with each other when you open the bottle the gaseous carbon dioxide can escape so the dissolving carbon dioxide begins to undissolved back to the gas phase trying to yes replace the gas that was lost when you open the bottle that's why if you leave it open long enough it will goes flat at the co2 will be gone blown away in the air so the neck will be little bended okay next ionic product of water what is meant by ionic product of water the water will be converted into plus charge and the minus charge that is h plus ion and oh minus ion uh, Pure water is often considered as a non-conductor of electricity. Measures that the electricity of a little extent. The conductivity of water has resulted from the self-ionization of water. What is self-ionization? That is H2O is converted into H plus and OH minus ion. It is known as self-ionization. 
ionization the self ionization or auto ionization in is a reaction in which two like molecules reacts to give ions in the process ionic ionization of water a proton from one water molecule is transferred to another water molecule leaving behind an oh minus ion the proton gets dissolved in water forming the hydronium ion you know very well that h2o plus h2o two liquid water molecules combine together to form a h3o plus ion plus o minus ion the equilibrium constant is written as auto ionization of water kw is equal to h plus concentration into oh minus concentration the kw is called the ionic product constant which is the product of the molar concentration of h plus and the oh minus at a particular temperature see here ionic product of water kw is written as kc already i say in equilibrium Uh, kc is equal to how can you write since h2o is effectively constant and it is a large excess so we written as kw is equal to h plus ion concentration and oh minus ion concentration its unit is mole power 2 uh, decimeter power minus 6 this is this is the unit of ionic product of water okay so kw is equal to h plus into oh minus ion k h plus ion value 1 into 10 power minus 7 and oh minus 2 also equal in a h2o so 2 equal concentration i written here 1 into 10 power minus 7 into 1 into 10 power minus 7 so equal to 1 into 10 power minus 14 this is the value of ionic product of water the value of ionic product of water is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 14 okay now we go to the lesson i already explained now in your lesson what they given although pure water is often see here the same way they given non conducting of electricity pure water is a non conducting of electricity previous measurement shows that the conducts electricity to a little extent okay this conductivity of water has resulted from a self ionization of water self ionization means h plus and oh minus so see here h2o plus h2o gives h3o plus this is known as hydronium ion this is known as hydronium ion this hydronium ion shows the follow proton gets dissolved in water forming okay next you see next you see here how it will be formed the product of concentration of already i told the concentration of hydrogen ion hydroxyl ion concentration is called ion product of ionic product it is denoted by kw it is mathematically expressed as the same thing will be given in your book also at 25 degree centigrade it will be calculated okay students this session will be over next session we will see the pH scale of the solution.